WB6LG, your ham radio Elmer. Welcome to my radio room here in Rockland, California. Um, in the last video, I asked the question, is minus 35 dB enough in terms of the second harmonic on a homemade linear amplifier? And the resounding answer was no, it's not enough. And a lot of guys gave me the correct number from the FCC website, which was very kind of them to go figure out what the number is, or maybe they knew it. But it's minus 43 dB, which is way down. But um, I had to figure out what was going wrong. So I talked to um, uh, uh, George W6BDD about um, the sampler and what was going on with this one. And in talking to him, we discovered that this toroidal core um, got hot really hot so i was saturating the core at 1500 watts when i checked it with some other stuff it wasn't very good uh at 30 megahertz and above so um made this box i'll open it up and show you the insides with a different toroid um there are so239s a uhf female on both sides a bnc connector so uh, the toroid sits right here. It samples, goes through uh, about 8,000 ohms of resistor. They're larger than need be, but they're there. Um, again, it's what I had on hand. And then a 50 ohm resistor from the uh, center conductor on the BNC to ground. This sample box then worked great. It um, didn't heat up. It gave me accurate results. So let's take a look at some of those results very quickly, um, and it looks pretty good. Okay, here we go. 45 dB down. Key it again. 45 dB. Retune a little bit. 46 dB. Maximum output, 1500 watts. All right, so the good news is my amp is clean. Uh, minus 45, 46 dB is wonderful. Um, uh, from that, out of the amplifier it goes through, through an antenna tuner which is another stage of filtering and then it goes up to my yagi which is going to be another stage of filtering because it's not super high q but it's it's somewhere up there and so it's 20 meters only its ability to radiate a signal on 10 meters and above is pretty limited in any case minus 45 minus 46 i'm thrilled with that answer the Ellicraft amplifier that I tested uh, as a comparison, uh, a KPA 500, ended up being incredibly clean. I, I couldn't find a second harmonic. It's probably there somewhere, but it's so far down, I couldn't see it on the stuff that I had. So, as usual, Ellicraft makes really good items, and the KPA 500 has, has been one of those. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim W6LG in Rockland, California. And if you haven't subscribed, uh, please uh, check that box, 73.